There you go, Smokey and lay back in the arms of song. Well, I'm very pleased to say I'm joining the studio by an old friend of mine. I haven't seen him. It must be at least about six months. Uh, Bang Sen, I think, was the last time I saw you. And it is Steve. Steve Johnson from WET, Wet Technologies. Uh, tell us, you're not on your own today. You brought Andy in, Andy Steele. Why do you bring Andy with you? Yeah, um, Andy's been a friend of mine for over three years now. We've just started to uh, do some joint venture work together, and uh, I brought him along to talk about his involvement with Asia Forestries and a uh, uh, foundation that he started called, and, and charity called Plant a Tree Today. Sounds great. Okay, let's speak to Andy. Andy, nice to meet you. Hello, Johnny. Uh, so you're a forestry man, you're a lumberjack. <laughs> I always wanted to be a lumberjack. I didn't want to do this, I want to be a lumberjack. Not originally, but that's where I've ended up. Yeah, I've got a very environmental theme. Um, previously, I was in the Navy and an engineer by trade. Uh-huh. But so how long have you been in Thailand? Now, coming up to four and a half years. All right. And so, plant a tree. Uh, aren't there enough trees being planted? Um, I think if you look at the rates of deforestation, the answer is definitely no. Uh, All with right. climate change, trees are the only thing that take up one of the only methods of removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So I set up a charity aimed at putting the trees back. And that's in Thailand, or is it throughout the world? I mean, so, uh, l look at Brazil. Um, not working in Brazil, it's a UK registered charity, uh -huh. and also now a Thai foundation, but it's done doing work in. India, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and we most recently did a project in South Africa, which is fantastic, reforesting an area on Table Mountain. Okay, brilliant stuff. Uh, why have you come into the studio today? I mean, people know about the Forestry Commission, people know about it. What, why have you come to see us? Um, not only do we work in a charitable sense in forestry, but we also work commercially as well. And we have set up a company in Thailand, Asia Forestry Management, which offers unique investments into the forestry industry. Okay, uh, in a nutshell, uh, tell us what it is. We, we actually work with a particular niche market product called Aguilaria and it produces, once the tree is infected, a, a unique aromatic oil, which most people are aware of sandalwood. We produce yes. an oil called oud oil, which is more expensive. Sandalwood is obviously a premium product. Oud oil is used in the Middle East in perfumes. Right. And also by Yves Saint Laurent and a number of... Manu uh, perfume manufacturers in Europe. Mm -hmm. the, the the oil is high value, and it's high value m purely based on the fact that it's so difficult to attain. Okay. And number of comp only a number of companies worldwide worldwide actually have the intellectual property to be able to infect and the trees. And you're one of the companies. And we are one of the companies, yes. All right. But infecting the tree is one part of the process. Okay. What we have to do then is go through an arduous process of distilling the trees to extract the oil and then sell it. Tell us about Asia Forestry. Okay, Asia Forestry was set up about three years ago with myself and my business partners where we were looking for innovative ways in which we could structure investment into the environment. Uh -huh. So socially responsible investments. People can get good value for money by investing in a product that is helping the environment. Uh-huh. And uh, how can people get involved in it? Well, we have a number of agents around the region. Mm -hmm. and we've, we predominantly work in Bangkok, but our plantations are in Trat. We're recently bringing on a new agent in Pat the Pattaya area to tackle this market, and Steve Johnson is available to answer any queries that anybody has got. But just going back to the product specifically, what we, we've structured is a two-year and a six-year forestry investment, and I believe the two-year investment is the only one of its kind in the world within forestry. Right. It offers a 21% return over two years, which is pretty spectacular when you consider the meltdown of the financial markets and what's gone on, and the banks are offering 1-2%. Um, is there a minimum investment? Not at all, no. We can structure I investments towards... I think I got that 10 bot. That may <laughs> get you about one twig. <laughs> but we, we, off, we have up to 9 million trees that are between 7 and 15 years old that are mature enough to actually inoculate. And that's not just in Thailand, that's in Laos and no, Indonesia? That's, that's in Thailand alone. Okay, right. But you do also in Laos and Indonesia, don't you? We've done charitable work in Laos and Indonesia through the foundation. We have access to trees in Laos and Indonesia. What we have just recently done is open our factory in Trat, producing mm. the oud oil. Once we go into a larger section, the company is, is hoping to list on uh, hopefully AIM in London uh -huh. to raise additional capital to mm -hmm. go into overseas market and launch this product from different areas. The, the oil itself has a different scent coming from different countries. 
Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, Indonesia, and Malaysia, based on the soil quality and the soil content. Okay, so it's interesting for us. So, to how do many that. in your team? We've got about a sales staff in th- in Bangkok of 25, and admin team about six or seven. Mm-hmm. Then in the factory in Trad, about 25 people, and then we've got teams on the ground of up to 30 now that are going around constantly inoculating the trees. And it takes a couple of hours to get a one tree inoculated, and then it's, it's a, a big st- needle. <laughs> yeah, a lot of holes drilled, and then it, it takes it takes six months for the infection to take hold in the tree. It well, sounds cruel. It's not painful for the tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, about retail prices uh, of this stuff. I mean, I believe it's a lot of money. A little. It is. It is. We actually don't retail the product ourselves, although we're going to launch a new website and sell the product ourselves onto the retail market. Uh-huh. But we're wholesale into the Middle East at the moment, and the prices are a lot lower. Mm. The retail value in the Middle East, because it's so difficult to actually get this oil from mm. grade A, is thirty-five thousand dollars a litre. And grade B is twenty. I believe. Grade B is twenty. It goes on grade C and grade D. The longer we leave the tree infected, the higher grade of oil we get. And uh, finally, just to wrap everything up, what are you looking for? You're looking for investors more than anything. Definitely, we're looking for people to that are looking that are aiming to achieve a diversification in their portfolio, so they can put money in forestry and then spread their risk across different markets: equity, bonds, mm-hmm. gold, etc. And looking for a green investment, which a lot of people are doing. That's the way of the world. That the people seeing different opportunities. Mm-hmm. We believe we've got a, a very unique product and investment in forestry over two years that you don't get that offers 21% return. Fantastic. Okay, uh, we'll try and help you out as much as possible. We'll put people your way. If anybody's interested, then they can contact the show, Morning at Patio People Radio, and we'll pass the information on to you. Also, we'll put a link to uh, Steve's email, and that will go on to our website when we upgrade the website on the Breakfast Friends site. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, been a pleasure. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you again. Okay. All right, let's go back to the music now. And You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet by Bachman Turner Overdrive. <laughs> 